Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal in Challenge Mode. So anyway, uh, now we can go and buy the best armor in the game, I think. Which is the thing I want to do. Take a lot of damage. And I don't like it. I'm not a fan. And then I guess I have to play that hollow vid. To get Quark's memory back. I suppose I could go back to Florana and level up some weapons or something. But, well, just continue to do that. We're just going to continue to move forward in the plot and level up weapons as we go and see where we end up. Because, uh, I don't know what else to do, really. I mean, it's there's just not a lot of stuff we missed. Like, we know where everything we missed is, except uh, the one missing character trophy I've looked up. And But we can't do that until we get back to the crash site, so we're way into the plot at that point. Best armor, please. The prototype Infernox armor suit represents the ultimate achievement in personal protection systems. Combines Carbonex armor imported from the Vogon Galaxy, a nanotech control system, and an onboard quantum hellfire generator to create a blazing barrier of total protection. Test results indicate that the Infernox system reduces damage by an unbelievable 80%. Sold. <laughs> And there's a skill point for that. Is there really a skill point for just buying that armor? Yeah, purchase the Infernox armor, yeah. Okay. Let's go play a Quark vid comic. Watch and learn. Okay. No, I, we don't really have to care about the cutscenes if they haven't changed. These are the real life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero in the galaxy. Oh, but I do have to get the health upgrade again. And it is worth money to get these tokens, so I should get them. Oh no! Okay. Right, this is a, this is like robot pirate ghost or something, right? I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, and I'm dead. But nobody nobody cares about the death count. Okay. Well, we're moving. 
How did you survive? And by the way, I'm not bad at shooting, I'm bad at button pushing. That's the problem here. No, I could have gotten on that. Okay, I got all 100. But I don't seem to... Oh. So there's a health upgrade. Him once. Is he harder? Seems like he's harder. Nah, no, he wasn't that bad. I just wasn't doing any real damage because I wasn't shooting him. Okay, let's see what we get for money. Yeah, you can't argue with that. That is 90,000 bolts. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes a cake. Pirate, ghost, robots. I wonder if you were idiots. Hey, Professor, snap to it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> well, who's that handsome devil? It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. So... <laughs> Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Horse. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred! Fred is a Gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a Morpho Ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Another day, another death course. It's like the Darth Vader version of Ratchet! I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. It's great. But let's go to Annihilation Nation. There should be tons of stuff to do there as far as bolts go. It'll be awesome. Because we need bolts. We want bolts. We need 10 million, apparently. 10 million bolts. No big deal.
some point we're gonna have to do the quirk tactic quirk tastic challenge I'm not looking forward to that at all we have to buy every weapon in the game are you ready to play yes all right let's meet our first contestant He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet! Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the Death Horse. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm ready. Gonna, gonna get burned right away, why not? Push the button to flip the side. Hey, be sure to catch me next week at the Florana Man, I got him anyway. Oh man, this job is too much fun. Wait a minute now. Really move. All right. I did see it. It was crazy. Man, you gotta love this plasma coil. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous weapon. It shouldn't be allowed in the game. So overpowered. Okay. Okay, Ariba Amiibo. Yeah, let's! I want to use my bouncer! Hey guys! Need more of ya! My shield charge was killing them. Neat. I'm doing it. Three 
Alright, what do we got? Oh, Bouncer's all I have left now, though. Holy crap! Look at that! I think he just kills everything! It just murdered everything. An entire arena full of things. I don't believe it, folks! He survived the death course! And here to give you your prize, the lovely Miss Courtney Gears! How about that, folks? He is better looking! Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the Terror Guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting. And my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. So I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> the time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known. Captain Quark! You're not gonna believe this. But the president put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. Yeah, but I mean, rather than do that, why wouldn't I, like, do more Death Course stuff? Well, the answer is there's no reason I wouldn't do that. I'm completely gonna do things and earn a bunch of bolts and buy a bunch of new weapons. Because we've leveled up everything now except the bouncer and the shield charger. So I will see you guys for that. And uh, bye, everybody.